Andy here. How are we doing? So another video on Streamerbot, and today we're going to be looking at the new feature inside of the new Alpha Streamerbot that is just stunning. If you haven't got it already, you can check it out in the links below. I've done tons of videos on the channel already, uh, so make sure you are subscribed as well because I'm going to carry on making a bunch of videos on this and OBS stuff going forward. So press that little sub button. Don't cost anything, and it'll help me get towards that 100K, right? So the one that we're going to be looking at is the if statement. So this is something that always used to be really annoying inside of Streamerbot. So when you go to uh, your old Streamerbot just up here and you go and search for an if, if it takes so long to find it, you could only do if a variable equals or obviously whatever other operator you want equals a certain value, then do an action. So you needed like multiple actions layering and like it just it became a headache and it, it used to annoy me. I, I, I never used that. That's why I learned how to code basically. Now, in the new version of Streamerbot that is still in alpha, you can actually do it a lot easier. Just a reminder, I'm actually recording this live on Twitch, so come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy, and you can come and uh, help me get partner, but you can come and ask questions, and uh, I can help you out as well. So we're going to, rather than search through here, we can actually go... We just look for if here and we can open it just there. If you want to find out more on this, I actually posted a video yesterday on this specific function. So definitely go check that one out. I'll leave that link below as well. So we can do if else. So we say if input. So this is the variable that we want to do or the the argument. So uh, maybe I'll do if um, number. So I, I don't know. We'll, we'll do number equals uh, one, for instance. There we go. We've got a different setup here. So it now says if number equals one, then the true. So if it does equal one, then we can put true in here, right? So what I'll do is add an action. So I'll right click on it again. I can go and find an action and we maybe we'll send a Twitch message uh, to chat. Here we go. So I'll go chat message. See how that takes so long to do it? I'll show you next time, right? Send message to channel. Um, you chose one. Press OK. This is true. If it's false, then we can say you didn't choose one, right? So I just type in message here. This is so much quicker, right? This is crazy. But obviously make sure you do the right one. You didn't choose one. There we go. Um... Uh, and for the input, thank you, Pony. Pony just reminded me, don't forget to, to wrap it. I always forget, right? Uh, so I need to, to wrap it in the percent signs. See, I'm so used to just doing the code inside of it, man. It's crazy. So we'll do that. So if number equals one, Twitch message, you chose one. False, you didn't choose one. So I'm just going to create a test trigger up here. Again, if you want to find out about this feature, uh, you can go check it out to from yesterday's video, that's the one. Add uh, in here, I'll type in number, and I'll put number one, press OK. And then now when I press test, it says you chose one, because the import was number one, and then it says that's true, so you chose one is the message that's just been sent out to Twitch. Really simple. So if I change that number now to, um, well, there's only w what one other number, well, maybe two, but... Yeah, that's the only number we need here. I'm going to press OK, press test, and it's going to say you didn't choose one because that is technically false. And that is now all in one action, so we don't have to do multiple sub-actions. And the really cool thing is, as well, is you can actually keep kind of like firing these inside each other. So if you wanted to do another if statement, right, or something like that, so I'm just going to type in test here just to... to put something in there you can actually put these inside each other as well so you can be like if number equals one all right yeah cool but if test also equals one so you can go really advanced with these and keep nesting them within each other uh, td has also said also it's worth noting that if your if statements don't work you might need to make sure auto typed is tick ticked and by that he means when you're in your if statement i've just opened the wrong window because i'm a silly billy 
Um, when you're in the if statement, you press this auto type and that will make sure that it kind of, if it needs to be a number or a string, it will kind of auto type that. So that's always a good thing to check first. But that is so much easier. I'm sure you are. JSTAN believes it's a lot easier as well. So if this video helped you out and you enjoyed it, press that like to help me with the algos and all that jazz. Also subscribe because I, I want to get a plaque. I want to say that I've done something in my life. If you want to help support as well, then all my links are down below. Come and visit live on Twitch. Put your eye for the stone. Much love.